Hey guys, this is Skyler. I am uh, making a video on the console compatibility of the Ocarina of Time Link project I got going on. But for the Wii U, the Wii U version, there's probably going to be a few cuts in this video because my SD card is really slow. So it takes a while for things to load in the, uh, like the game going between areas and stuff. All right, there we go. So this is probably how I'm also going to be releasing it because uh, there's no mod uh, loader for the game. So people are probably just going to have to play it through Lodeen or install it with Nest Packer. But uh, here, here he is. Here's the Ordon version of him. I haven't shown him off yet. In a video at least. But I also haven't shown off uh, the horse. Here's the first cutscene in the game here. But it was, was fitting since it's getting the horse. So I have been uh, working pretty hard on this. Uh, porting it to the Wii U is, uh, well, it kind of sucks because I have to do everything manually. And that's only assuming if the model works already for the Wii U. And if it doesn't, I have to completely redo it. So it's about three times the work. But I think it's worth it to have it in the HD version. Unfortunately, I can't have the wolf and stuff because there's an issue with the eyes where they're just not there. Um... I guess let me get know if you at least want a recolor of the already existing Link model, a uh, Wolf Link model. I can try to make it a little gold. Yeah, gamepad lag. Um, I know I explained this before, but I haven't explained it in a video. Uh, his hair color, I uh, used Rus uh, not Russell, Colin and Ollie's hair to, I matched the, the color to that. Because I thought it was the closest representation to that of the color in Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time's uh, art style and Twilight Princess art style are very... Um, well, you can go back and forth. You don't really have to do much editing because Twilight Princess art style was supposed to be an evolution of Ocarina of Time's original art style. So it's pretty easy to match things up. Um, I'm going to cut here to the... Other outfits, the normal outfits that I got going. All right, we got it loaded in for the normal outfits now. Um, it took me a while to do, cause I had to redo all of the textures pretty much. Um, the guy who made the Project M Link model, his name is Pick. He kind of coached me through, or rather encouraged me while I was repainting over his work. Just have something that looked really nice for the HD version of the game. I, uh, the last one I did was the boots, but I officially have all of him retextured. As far as parody goes, um, I got it all cut up to the GameCube version. So, continuing forward, I can do one part on GameCube, then go back to Wii U, so I can kind of have a steady workflow for that. Uh, this is probably gonna be one my last project for a while because I got I gotta start uh, Get my life together a little bit There's the deity outfit I even retextured it. I was using the Majora's Mask 3d texture before but obviously a 128 by 128 texture is a little bit low res 
Now the reason why uh, it's not like a full port of the design is because it's still supposed to be mostly uh, Ocarina of Time Link. But yeah, anyway, this is showing that it does run on a console. 